tilt and shift lenses are specialist lenses that are unfortunately really expensive and although they can be incredibly useful in a number of ways such as using the shift mechanism to make sure that tall and straight objects don't suffer from converging verticals or to increase or decrease depth of field using the tilt mechanism. So one of the main techniques that people like to have fun with using tilt and shift lenses is tilting the lens, shooting wide open at say f4 or f2.8 depending on the lens, and then shooting from an elevated position so you get that kind of toy town look. But if that's the only technique that you're going for, you really do not need to buy a tilt and shift lens because you can do a fairly good job in Photoshop and we're going to take a look at how it's done now. So the first thing that we need to do here is to copy the background layer by pressing Ctrl and J. That would be Command and J on a Mac. And then we're going to apply all the blur effects to this new layer so that we're working non-destructively. So as I said before, the best results for this kind of toy town effect come from shooting from an elevated position. So here, I was standing at the top of the hill overlooking Oya in Santorini. The colours are quite dull because it was in the middle of the day, so we're going to have a play with that and make it look more toy-like after we've applied the blur. So this is a really, really simple technique thanks to Photoshop's filters. So we just need to go to Filter, Blur Gallery, and then Tilt and Shift, and then that opens up the tools for us. So once you hover your mouse pointer over the image, you can see these guides here. So clicking on the circle in the center and dragging around, that allows us to position the center of that point of focus. So this area here is gonna stay sharp, whereas this is where the blur begins. And then beyond these dash lines, that's where the most blur occurs. So for this scene here, I want this area here to be nice and sharp. So what we can do with these is just hover over any of these lines and we can reposition them. So I'm going to bring that one up slightly. I'm going to left mouse click and bring this one down just to get more of this area sharp. If you would like to rotate the guides at all, just hover over these points and you can just click and drag and rotate to get an angle. So let's go for an angle like that there. And then we can still just keep moving things around and getting it, everything looking perfect before we apply more blur. So the controls are really simple. We have these effects controls, but they really don't work particularly well. You don't really need them. You can just work with the blur slider once you've applied your guide how you would like it over here. So what I'm going to do now is just drag the slider over to the right until I get the effect that I'm looking for. So let's go for an amount of 32 and I'm just going to bring that guide down slightly and this one back up. So I'm just going to check high quality as well then hit OK and there we have a tilt and shift blur. So at this point you could stop you have the shot, you have the technique, everything's working well. But if you want to go for that true toy town kind of effect, we need to increase the saturation of the image. So I'm going to create a hue saturation adjustment layer. And then all you need to do here is just drag the saturation slider over to the right. And you can take it much higher than you ever would for a normal shot because what you're trying to create here is something that doesn't look real. Well, it is real, of course, but it looks like a model rather than real life. You'll see there, it's just making the image pop and it just has that kind of manufactured look about it. But what I'm gonna do as well is just increase the saturation of a couple of channels. So I'm just gonna boost the yellow slightly just to get a bit more color into the foliage. And then I'm gonna select the blues and I'm just gonna take those up a tiny extra amount as well just to make these blues in here pop a bit more so there's our before and there's our after so it makes a huge difference just applying that simple hue saturation adjustment layer so that's how to apply a tilt and shift shallow depth of field effect and then also using hue saturation to create that toy town look in photoshop